type of speciation is called true speciation or gradual speciation. Here one species, one species may give rise to two or more species one species may give rise to two or more species by splitting or fragmentation. Now generally what happens is suppose this is a this is the geographical range of a species in this geographical range members of a species are randomly distributed forming small pockets small pockets of population these small pockets of population are called deems so there are deems within each of there are individuals within each of these deems their number may vary from one deem to another deem but all of them are belonging to the same species naturally what happens is between because all of them belong to the same species between the members of the same species there will be lot of interbreeding lot of interbreeding so there may be there may be interbreeding between members in the same deem so in each of these deems members may interbreed this is one possibility another possibility is there may be interbreeding between members belonging to deems of the same species so interbreeding may occur between members belonging to different deems of the same population
this is what will be happening in every population of every species but if members of one species for some reason split into two or more species and give rise to new species then it is called true speciation or gradual speciation because it takes over takes over a long period of time this type of speciation occurs in all sexually reproducing organisms in all sexually reproducing organisms true speciation can be of three types true speciation can be of three types one is called allopatric allopatric speciation in allopatric speciation members belonging to a particular species may get geographically or physically isolated may get geographically or physically isolated into two groups into two groups so initially a physical or a geographical barrier a range of mountains or a river flowing in between may become the barrier between the members of the species dividing them into two groups these two groups then become reproductively isolated reproductively isolated because of the barrier the two members of the two groups cannot interbreed among themselves so they also become reproductively isolated and gradually gradually become two different species this is called allopatric speciation so you have a deem here with a number of individuals over a period of time a geographical barrier is formed between the members of the species they become
reproductively isolated this is geographical isolation now this is reproductive isolation so members of this group breed only among themselves members of this group breed only among themselves so reproductive isolation this reproductive isolation results in the formation of results in the formation of two different species so species a initially getting geographically isolated then getting reproductively isolated and forming two different species so after reproductive isolation formation of two different species species b and species c this is called allopatric speciation another possibility is sympatric speciation sympatric speciation here within the same deem or subunit of population within the same subunit or deem of a population a group of individuals a group of individuals develop genetic variations and start reproducing only among themselves start reproducing only among themselves not with others members so here there is no geographical isolation but there is only reproductive isolation this is called sympatric speciation so this is species a this is the newly formed species b so here only reproductive isolation only reproductive isolation within the same range or within the same geographical area then it is called sympatric speciation the third possibility is called parapatric speciation parapatric speciation here from a geographical area consisting of individuals belonging to the same species a small group of individuals 
a small group of individuals migrate migrate into a neighboring area this neighboring area again may not be geographically isolated but still these individuals which have migrated may develop genotypic variations and those genotypic variations may reproductively isolate them very productively isolate them from the original parental species so this remains as the original species and this becomes the new species so here migration into a new niche followed by reproductive isolation these are the three possibilities of true speciation or gradual speciation